Hey guys, welcome to Jerry's Live. As always, I'm your host, Amy Gardner-Dean. It is the new products review and my birthday giveaway. It's, I appreciate the birthday wishes so far. It's actually tomorrow, but it's close enough where I think you guys deserve prizes because that's how I like to be. So it's kind of Christmas in September, just because I said so. Um, this is episode 73. If you're following along at home, you want to see any of these products that we're going to show you as far as the new products go, you would go to jerryzartorama.com, type in the search box JL73, and that will pull up the entire list of the things that we're going to show you today. Uh, before we get started, I know you YouTube folks have been like hanging in there with us as well as you can. We have had sound issues. We have uh, tested some new products. We've got something fantastic that's gonna work. It's on order, it should be here at the end of this week, so we will have it up and running for next week. Besides the sound, everybody is gonna benefit because we are going to have a three camera setup with this new deal that can all be controlled simultaneously on both platforms. We'll have an overhead camera, we will have a straight ahead camera, and then we'll have a detail camera that I can show things to for a close up. So it is going to be fantastic. It is going to fix the YouTube sound. So if you can just be a sport and hang in there for one more week with us, if we have some issues, we've done what we could to try to alleviate that while we've been waiting for this whole new system to get here. Uh, and we appreciate your patience with that and your loyalty for hanging in there. So uh, so that'll be next week with Marabou. So you'll get to see like all of the beautiful aqua inks color and get to see Amanda do some lettering she's she's mortified that I'm that I'm even saying that but but we're gonna do a whole bunch of cool stuff with the Mirabu products next week so you'll get to see that with the entirely new setup lots of guests lots of fun so anyway uh, the new products we've got new products and then we've got other stuff we've been kind of holding on to from other episodes that are gonna be prizes so it's not just gonna be new products there's only a few of these things that we're gonna talk about two of them uh, that are not going to be included with the giveaway, but otherwise everything else that you're going to see will be involved with that. Now, this is how we're doing the prizes. All you have to do is comment once. Any additional comments are fantastic. If you want to share in the conversation, if you've got questions about the products, but making extra comments, begging, pleading for things is not going to help. The selection is done by computer. It's just a random program. So it's anybody's guess who is going to win. Like to yeah, yeah, we don't, we, we won't pick. So, uh, so j all you have to do is make one comment and that's YouTube or Facebook, just so we know you're there, just so we have your information. And then we will post uh, on just the Jerry's Facebook, Jerry's Arama Facebook page, what we're gonna post on Thursday, correct? Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is going to be the cutoff. So it's not gonna penalize people that didn't get to see this live. They'll still be able to, it'll give them till tomorrow at five to be able to leave a comment, to be in the running for the prizes. So just so you know, that's what it's gonna be. That's how we're gonna play this. And I'll remind people, if, if it seems like ladies, if like we need a reminder to that, just let me know and I'll I'll say that on there. Um, so good luck. Hopefully you'll, you'll win something because there's all sorts of really cool stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we talk about travel sets. We talk about, ah, I'm trying to fix the sound. Okay. Trying to gonna move work. it. We're, we're going to do some camera segregation. Did it do it? Yeah. Uh, maybe that's okay. All right. Well, I'll keep going while you're doing this. Um, we always talk about travel sets. We talk about, you know, art on the go, taking something with you, something that can just kind of slip or slide into a pocket or purse or backpack. Marie's has a new travel set out. Uh, it's 18 colors. It's very small and, and streamlined. It's like, ah, who do I look at? Um, Ignore us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's easy to do. I know, no, sorry. That's okay. It's not your fault. All right. So this has 18 colors. Whoops. Little tiny water brush that comes with it little tiny sponge, a little tray for mixing or uh, just putting some water in. It's got a little card so you can test your colors so you know what's what and keep it in here. 
nice mixing tray on the top. This isn't a professional watercolor set by any means, but it's fantastic for urban sketching, which is something we're gonna talk about in a few weeks. 18 half pans with all that stuff. All you need is a, a pencil, a little sketchbook, or a pen. $20.79 for the Marie's watercolor set. So that's gonna be one of the prizes. I'll probably pair it with a watercolor journal of some sort, but that's going to be one of the prizes that we've got. I'm gonna set these aside over here, Katie. Don't let me forget, because they're, they're like a pile. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna hold the camera. Oh, that's no. when we sit not do it, it stops when she touches it. When, when Katie, Katie's magic, when she holds the holds onto YouTube, the world smiles, and you can hear again. I'm sorry, Katie. We're making Katie blush. You're not manhandling it. It's it's your gentle, it's your gentle Our touch. <laughs> All right, so um, acrylics. Everybody always says, what's a good starter set for kids? What's a good set if I just want to paint acrylics and have some fun? I, you know, don't want to do, you know, high-end, headed for the gallery, museum artwork. Creative Inspirations has a fantastic set. They've got the big pumps, right? Everybody's seen those, the big pumps of acrylic for what? I gotta hold it. <laughs> She's slide, slipping and sliding her out of the chair. They make the great big pumps for like the paint and sip places. They make smaller jugs that have a flip top. They also make great little 120 milliliter size tubes. Now this set is 15 colors. It has um, a Creative Inspirations acrylic brush set that comes with it. And it's got this carry bag. So it can make your acrylics portable. All you need is a, is a water bag and what a paper paper pad yeah. right something this set with 15 colors and all that in the mesh bag 30 bucks will get you started in acrylic so it's a great gift this will make a great gift for maybe if you've got an older child that really wants to be painting like you know upper elementary middle school age it's great colors it's good saturation for kind of an entry level acrylic and it's got decent sized tubes so this would be a great that's a lot of paint for 30 bucks 15 colors yeah. i mean that's that's crazy so that's a great on the go kind of set or just you know at home and those bags are ooze proof if you don't get the cap closed all the way oops my tap lights stop all right okay so then let's talk about some brushes for all mediums some of these brushes are brushes that we've had for a while. However, they've come out with these awesome new sets. These are the, um, oops, you know what? I'm not sure where the Mimic Kalinske synthetic set is. That's the one thing. I think they're over there. There's a set of four of the Mimic Kalinskis. The long handle? You, Tell me you're not gonna, she can't move. Okay. I can't move. It's, it's probably on the shelf over there, like a set of four. It's the one we did the ads with. It might have gotten moved, though. That's fine. We'll skip to the next one and you can go look. It's over um, on the, yeah, on the back side. By the, By the words left. Yes. Sorry. Okay. We'll switch to Black Swan because that was what I was picking up anyway. Black Swan are a synthetic that is similar to a synthetic Kalinske. It's kind of in between more of a hog bristle and more of a super, super fine soft brush. It manages heavy loads nicely. This set is fantastic. It comes in this brush case that can also open up as a brush easel. You've got everything from size zero rounds all the way up to some nice filberts and flaps here that are size 20. So that is, I mean, basically this would outfit an entire acrylic studio, don't you think, Katie? Yeah, that's uh, one of every size or type of brush you need, unless you're just painting gigantically. This set with the 23 brushes, the price on it's only $70. So that's 23 brushes with a brush case that doubles as a brush easel. It's a fantastic deal. That's going to be one of the prizes. Outfit your entire acrylic brush set. If we can't find it we'll post a picture of it later let me see if amanda has the magic that i do with her if you 
if you watch Instagram, you guys put it on Instagram, you put it on Facebook as well, right? With the Mimic Kalinsky long handled brushes. Yeah, they were just It was on on Friday. So, yeah, we just did a, a nice little informational ad. All right. If you've been around Jerry's products and you are an acrylic painter for a while, you might have seen these uh, Pro White Studio brushes. I included them. It's a brush kind of set that's, I mean, this is a nice inclusive set, but it's a brush style we've had for a while. A lot of people maybe didn't know we had it. A lot of people have never tried them. These are actually fantastic brushes for the price. Um, these and the Creative Mark, uh, the Pro Krill brushes, the Power Krill brushes, they're very similar. These are actually a little bit better value even. This set's got, you know, right down to some little flats and rounds all the way up to a nice size 10 with the brush case. It's 12 brushes. The price on this is normally $29.99. Right now it's on super sale for going back to school for $14.68. That's, it's 12 brushes. That's just a tiny bit more than a dollar a brush with a free case. So it's a fantastic acrylic brush set deal. That's gonna be one of the prizes. All right, then, this is a new line that we've got out that is called our mixed use brush line uh, that Creative Mark makes. It's a long handled set of a very nice decorative style brush, nice hard handle, that's, that's fine. We'll just, we'll put them up later, I'll find them. They may have gotten under they're something. They're not good, they moved. walk off. Probably so. Honestly. Well, they're, if, if you're familiar with our Mimic Kalinsky, the short handled watercolor brushes, I it's the long handled oil thing. painter version of that. So, that's fine. We've got the prototypes in my office, but that's, eh. I wonder if they got something with that. They might have. Uh, but anyway, this is a mixed use set of brushes. They've got um, a durable handle to them. They are more your type of brushes for some decorative painting or different styles like that. They've got some angular styles, fan brush. They've got some little spotters, liners, but it gives you that extra handle length. Uh, this set of 15 with the case is only $39.99. You can use that with oils, acrylics. You could, they'd be fantastic with acrylic gouache. Uh, just a nice, pretty little set, pretty blue, and then the gold ferrules are really attractive, but it's synthetic, it's gold and tacalon. That is one of the prizes as well. Are people getting excited about the prizes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, hello. <laughs> That's fine. So, That's all it takes gold. to win. Just a hearty hello. I now, where they're from too. I think it's yes, like, it's Hi. really cool to see where they're yeah, from. It's raining all over the United States. Yeah, well, join the club. We'll make jackets. We have a new line of regular Kalinsky brushes out there. Everybody knows how hard it is to get regular Kalinsky. Uh, even Winsor Newton, the Series 7, they've pared down a lot of the larger sizes. They're not going to do them anymore because it's so difficult to get really good quality sourced Kalinsky. We have a brand new brush that's called the Steinberg. It's a superior Kalinsky brush. It is a traditional winter tail, male tail hair Kalinsky sable brush. We have the series, um, or the size four, we're doing at a special price for a round, nice pointed round. It's only $20 for actual Kalinsky. Can you get, I guess it's hard for you with the having to hold the two. Can you get into what the point is on those? It's got some sizing in it, but it's still, you can see it really nicely. She'll, she'll, she'll get to the other camera. Facebook, Sorry, you're next. <laughs> She's trying to figure it out. But those, the list on those are normally $59.95. So that is a great way to try the line out to get a really awesome detail brush. Um, they come in a tube. Oh, that they've got the sexy hourglass handle. That's perfect for reminding you to either hold it here or hold it back here as you're working. Those are brand, brand new too. That's brand new spanky new. We didn't think we were gonna be able to make yeah. them at first and we had the prototypes and I about cried because it was like, these are so beautiful It's now. been a couple years in the making for yeah. sure. Yeah, and then they said they weren't. And so I was like, well, at least I have my little prototypes. And then they did them, yeah. and so I was very happy. And we just got them in 
stock like a couple. It's it's been like, it's been two like two weeks, weeks. Ago? Yeah. because we we. To They're the, the newest new to do the filming. The yes, to do the filming for the website, we have to get them in to actually do the filming to then put the filming out. We just so, did that last week. So. Yeah, so that video will be up soon with it being used. But fantastic brush, <laughs> amazing price. I mean, twenty dollars is usually a synthetic watercolor brush, and this yeah. is actual Kalinsky. So, and that's called the Steinberg. New York Central Kalinsky side. I'm gonna set it, and and this is going to come with a nice heavy duty sketchbook. It's hardbound because those look like they should go together. It's fancy. Thank you. Fancy. Okay, he's gonna put it over there. All right. Thank you. All right. So uh, then, now these have been used on the show, but to show my appreciation for still these these were if you checked into our what our oil painting 101 episode. Uh, we featured these brushes. It's the, the New York Central Professional Control Hog Bristle, the Almond Filberts, and then the Short Flats. What these do, they're really fantastic. The highest quality Chungking Hog. They're made by hand. It's very difficult to get these short sizes and have the brushes hold together really nicely, still give you really nice control. Uh, but, you know, we looked until we found somebody that could make them exactly to our specifications. They're fantastic, and I love them. They've been cleaned. They're ready to go. They're just a little stained from the color we did. But I'll put a nice note in and a thank you for... You'll get Amy's real brushes from the show. Uh, and if that wasn't enough, we've got the Creative Mark Hamburg Premier Explorer set that will be coming along with it because... You might want something to do some glazing, which those big brushes aren't going to do. Now, if you're familiar with our Hamburg line, they are a blend of synthetic and natural hair. There's no mongoose in them, but they are designed to mimic what mongoose brushes did because mongoose is on the endangered species list. There's no way to get hair from them anymore. The only brushes out there that are still left in anybody's stock that have real mongoose if you can even find them now. I think they've all been snapped up or are gone. We designed these against brands, you know, the big name European brands. And, and it took several years of back and forth of testing different prototypes. And honestly, Katie, this weekend, I was washing all my brushes because moving into the new studio, washing and scrubbing, went through everything besides just, I mean, clean them so that like the, they're nice and bright again my natural hair mongoose brushes were shedding everywhere They're these so were shed. fantastic and the color came right out of them mm -hmm. really easily it took so much to work any like resid just residue that had been in the brushes for so long and they're, they're it's a bushier body they're more absorbent i was just like we, we did such a good job i know <laughs> They're such brushes. Good brushes. i was just really it was just very strange i've not had anybody that has tried those that has not right like them oh no, as that's much that's I I not I, I not that I'm gonna throw away my mongoose, but I've I've they're kind of in the side in a different jar because I've got all those photography samples and I just love them. So, uh, so that's gonna be you get three sets now. Normally, these would all these two would come with a case like this. The uh, almond filberts are regular one hundred and ten dollars and twenty nine cents. They're super sale for fifty four ninety nine with back to school. I know. Lord. So it'd be these three with one of these cases. Mm -hmm. Then you could get these five with one of these cases. Um, the super short flats are normally seventy-seven nineteen. They're on super sale for thirty-eight fifty-nine. So that's online. And then the Hamburg uh, Explorer set of six is, doesn't come with a case normally. Um, normally though, that's twenty-seven or no, excuse me, that's normally thirty-nine ninety-nine. Super sales twenty dollars for. I know for school. Shut up. So, but whoever gets this is getting one case Great. in Amy's. Amy's lovingly cared for. We show sell brushes. those cases separately as well, don't we? Ah, uh, not. I don't think this particular one we do. Something similar. To we, it. we do something similar, but not this particular one. Somebody was asking. All right. So. I'm actually looking that up right now. Thank cool. you. All right. So then, now this is be all of these, not just the set of four. But there is a set of four of these. They're regular $27.49. They're on sale for $21.99. These are chunking brushes that are the New York Central Gigante value bristle brushes. 
These are for your large scale paintings. If you're painting, you know, wall size paintings, if you're doing murals, if you're just working on really large canvases, these are fantastic for backgrounds. Uh, they make it an angular. This, whoever wins these, they better start stretching some big canvases or find a wall in the house. There'll be a number three angular in there, a number two, so two inch angular. There will be uh, a three inch flat. This is not the set that you can buy. This is the set they're getting because they get the photography samples. A two inch flat, a three inch oval, which is like a filbert. Then they'll get a two inch oval. And then they're gonna get the rounds, which are basically sash brushes in 25 and 30 sizes. So this is going to be a prize that somebody is going to get all of these fantastic brushes. And these are made by the same manufacturer that manufactures those beautiful uh, short filberts and flats uh, for us. So these are really awesome and I've used them to do the background of some big paintings and I, my set's much more colored than this. So luckily we had multiple sets. So this goes as a prize. Maybe our painting. I know. Also, people are really loving the idea that you have actually handled each one of these products individually, so you might want to go through and lick everything. <laughs> Just give it up. Yeah, why not? You know, don't don't clone me. I was a difficult child, so I'm just child? gonna say that now. Yeah, yeah, funny Frida. All right, so then uh, palette knives, not to be outdone. The creative mark. Painter's Edge Studio Palette Knives case with a set of eight palette knives is $24.99. So you can get eight really nice palette knives to do painting, to work, uh, I mean, mix paint, do all sorts of stuff. This is, if everybody's seen the show a lot, they know the round one's my favorite. This is my second favorite, the T36. I just love that little shape. Isn't it cute? Like the really round one and then that. Those are my favorites. Oh, and then these. I like those two on the end. Because we use these to clean palettes. These are just like ridiculously necessary for cleaning palettes. So you're going to get a great selection of multiple different knives. You can use them for your oils or acrylics with a case. That is a prize as well. I can tell when people like what you're holding up because like somebody new will comment. And I'm like, oh, you like those knives. This is when you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just wait entry. I'm waiting to see if there's something uh -huh. I like. There'll be something, trust me. All right. Now, oh, and for these prizes, again, all you have to do is comment once and your, th that your name is thrown in the hat for the computer to randomly pick from. You don't get a say. You're just going to be... Some, you'll get something if you're picked. Something. It's all good stuff. And you know, if you don't, if you get it and you don't love it, share the wealth because other artists might, I know Christmas is coming. All right. So the next thing we've got are the luxury soft cover sketchbooks. Uh, we've got, <laughs> they're so cute. There's all sorts of ones. Okay. Oh, and it smells like a saddle. Patty, Patty Sheldon, I'm thinking of you. It smells just like a saddle. We've got the cute little pattern like this with the little tiny so ones tiny. these are three and a half by 5.1 inches uh, those are normally $26.99 they're on sale for $24.99 uh, the big red one is the largest size and then these have the wrap because we should show the paper right it's this beautiful cream paper that will lay flat to work on um, and then you can just wrap it back up. These, the largest are 5.7 inches by 8.3 inches. Uh, the price on those is $46.99, sale $42.29. Uh, then we've got this little one. Those are, let me see if I can find, oh, I'm sorry, that was the 3.5 by 5.1. This is 2.7 by 4.1. So it's the itty bitty teeny tiny one. Um, so that was the one that was the t normally 26. But that has a nice kind of medieval pattern that is just on the front. Then the spine is clean, so it looks like a tiny little book. Uh, then we've got that with the pretty embossed border all the way around. 
that's two point this isn't two point seven. These are all out of shape. This or this is the diamonds, right? Diamonds. Mm -hmm. There's so many. It starts getting confusing. Uh, yeah. Um, when they're not marked, it's just they come out of a nice little plastic case. This is 4.7 by 6.5, $36.99, sale $33.29. Same size, but the plain one has a flap. So it's almost like really the old Italian sketchbooks that the masters would have so that it didn't get that. caught. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like it should be carrying diamonds or something fancy. Uh, and then the leaf is just beautiful as well. That's the same size as the red, but it's stamped with the leaf all the way around. So these are leather all the way on the outside. I'm going to split these up into like multiples and tuck them into maybe some of the lesser prizes so they'll get like one little fancy prize in there with it. What do you think? Get the unexpected leather sketchbook. All right. Then we, this year, just came out with the Reflections Watercolor Journals. It's a cold press textured surface, internally and externally sized, uh, 140 pound paper. That was squeaky. It is. <laughs> you know what? I've got, I've got one over there. Can you grab my one over yeah. there at the end of the it table? Gave me goosebumps. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I was actually sketching in one, doing some urban sketching in one and I've got it with my purse. So rather than open these up, I'll have to keep the labels on them so they're nice and fresh. All right, so this is mine. Got the elastic band to it. Was doing some urban sketching of, what is this building called? I call it the Jordan Pringle Reed. building because <laughs> it looks like oh a Pringles gosh, chip. It's so it Hollywood looks Land like, Park. okay, I'm not from here. Dorton Arena. Yes, Dorton Arena on the fairgrounds at, at NC State. Um, so, and, the, and it was the flea market was going on in the dog show. So I was up there for the dog show. So I was like, that's a really cool building to sketch. So that's just with a micron on this. Um, it The pages are perforated, so you can tear them out afterwards if you want to keep them. And then in the back, there's this fantastic little pocket that you could put ticket stubs in or uh, notes or things like that. I actually had some business cards from a couple dog breeders that I'd stuck in there and took out because I didn't want to lose them. So that's a fantastic little little book that takes watercolor. So I draw on permanent pen all the time. Then I put watercolor over them. So it just hasn't gotten to the part of where I've got going to do a bunch of sketches and then do it some watercolor. Really well, oh, it well. Water was, the paper was surprising. Uh, I dropped it on concrete in the parking lot, and that was all the dent that I got in it on one of those curb, curb pump things. things, and yeah, and said some words because I was sure that it was destroyed. <laughs> I was like, ah, get back, get back, get back. oh, <laughs> that's good. So those are fantastic. So I've got a couple of those. So one of these will go with the, uh, the Marie's set. So they got some paper to start with, and then these will go with something else. But those come, uh, the little size is perfect pocket size, like a lot of the other little journals that we're always carrying around here talking about. Uh, 3.5 by 5.5. <laughs> Those are only 10. Uh, the next size is 5.5 by 5.5. And then this one is 5.9 by 9.45. Uh, these are only $16. So it's a great, that book is inexpensive. Amazing. I love it. Yeah. I love it so much. Uh, it's, it's very nice. And it looks nice. Everybody was like, thought that it was pretty impressive that I had out when I was sketching at the dog show. So. I like the landscape. Yes, I do. Yes, I do too. Because you can always turn it the other way if you need to. So, all right. So that brings us to, let me get the light box plugged in. I <laughs> accidentally stepped on the cord and dropped it. Amy, the yes. dark blue one you just showed, that's, is that the global arts? One? No, they're that's, reflections. That's the mm -hmm. one? Yeah, it's the same one. It is the creative art reflections one. All right. So this is one of the only two prizes that we're not going to be um, sending out because we've done some prizes with them already. I, this, I am so good at tapping this button, Katie, and blinding myself. All right, come on, go away. Sorry, I'm fighting a migraine here, so I'm trying to not have it like on. Uh, we have the thin line light boxes, but this is the, or the regular light tablets, but this is the accurate thin line LED light box. A little bit thicker profile wise, but it's very durable with these aluminum sides, rounded corners, so it's not gonna catch on stuff. And these have a fabulous 
touch light. Yeah, well, that's fine. It's probably better not to because I don't want to blind anybody. Oh, it's, it goes up as soon as I look at it. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, starts out at 10% and goes up in increments 50, 7, to that very bright, bright. ungodly, retinally destructive. But never gets hot. No, it does not. We've had these on for a long time, and it's like you expect it to. The old light boxes, we used to do layout See, for the yeah. newspaper that stuff was going to burn up. What so size is that light box? this is the nine by 12. Uh, now the price on those is normally $99 and 99 cents. The school sale price for it, the super sale, Katie, do you know? $49.99. So it's half off. Our sale right now is, and they come, is crazy. And we don't have the little velvet bag because we've been using this back here all the time. This is the one we've got in studio. That comes in a nice little velvet bag uh, with the, you know, light, plug in the whole nine yards you know very well protected those boxes with the foam where it all it matches up perfectly or fantastic so so it's a great light box when you know that we've got one here in the studio that we use constantly so uh so well, that's nice a very too, nice product because it's smaller than a laptop you can like spend oh yeah time and travel and stuff it's oh really yeah well yeah it would fit i'm gonna unplug this because i will trip on it and that'll be the end of the birthday show <laughs> I'm going to set this, uh, right there. I help you, but I can't like, no, 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 that's, yeah, <laughs> no, sorry, you're stuck with the sound. Katie is a trooper, guys. She's perched, perched precariously on this stool, trying to, <laughs> all right, so the next product that we've got, you guys have seen the posh aid box that we've got, uh, the Soho Urban Artist Plein Air Posh Aid Box. I love this thing. I had the prototype and we tweaked it some. It's got feet on the bottom. It's got feet back here so that it's not going to rub any furniture if you do want to use it inside. It has this beautiful handle to it. Sorry. Now, once this is opened, I want to unlock those. You open it up, this swings to the back. You can do it vertically like this, you, any angle, all the way to laying flat for watercolor. The beauty of this is, and if you haven't seen this before, you're, you're not watching the show enough, clearly. <laughs> but with a couple knobs on the back, you, you could, this is not something that posh aid boxes generally have. Even if you can get an easel for it, I'm just going to say a gorilla has an external easel. How many times have I stabbed myself with that external easel in that box? Since I got this one, have you seen me carry that one anymore? Like bleeding because it was metal. It was very sharp. But if you don't, if you want to paint smaller, but you don't want this extended, you know, all the way down here by your paint surface, you can actually raise that so it's closer to visual level. So you can go from next to nothing, you know, just a tiny, tiny little thing to, I think we said it goes... 16 inches was that I mean that's fantastic so and if that weren't enough just that on the back it's got an additional area that you can use to rest brushes on here or use it as extra palette space for you know mixing then and there's magnets so it holds it securely mm -hmm. this is light so it's easier to see with mixing and your painting surface won't get hot that was something with this dark stain i did not like so we changed and you can't see so because you're Will you tilt it up? yeah can't move but look look at, look at everything that i've got in there there's a whole bunch of little tubes of paint there's a palette knife there is lean medium there are palette cups tons of paint tubes in here i could put so much more in this what i'm trying to get it so they can see. oh sorry no no it's me not you so you can put a lot of stuff in there and still do a lot of painting and this palette surface size is absolutely wonderful but then if that wasn't enough 
put this in the back. There is a secret mystery basement to this product. The room of requirements. Hmm? It's a Harry Potter thing. Oh, yeah, I don't know that. It's like a Harry Potter closet. Is that better? These are 9x12s. You can carry up to four 9x12 panels in there. <coughs> Or, if you don't want something as large as a 9x12, this can be put in 8x10s. This can be put in, and you can do, uh, actually, with 8x10s, you can do either an 8x10, or you can turn it and put 6x8s in. Adding this puts 5x7 panels in. So depending on the size you want to carry, you've got the ability to carry rig four regular dry panels. If you're going to paint, you can carry two wet panels. You need them facing out. Okay. So this is a really, really awesome, very revolutionary little product where you've got that ability to, to carry not only those, but all of you know this gear in the box as well. So um, now the, this, we've, we've shown the Pache box before. We actually have the tripod in stock as well. Ah, my bracelet got stuck. <laughs> I was trapped, Katie. Yes. They found it. Huh? They found it. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. I forgot I that. one. It's because I don't carry one. But wait, wait there's, there's more. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> And to top it all off, tell them how much it weighs. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. Um, uh, not even seven pounds. Yeah, not even seven pounds. We'll see, I always put so much in mine. It's empty, it weighs. Yes, empty, it weighs a little less than seven pounds. All right. But if you're starting with a 15 pound box. Yeah. You're going to be carrying your paper towels in another bag. I'm just telling you, this doesn't work with it on. But paper towel holder, you can have that off the bottom. So you just don't leave your paper towels and tabletop easel and I was like, but wait, you can attach it to a tripod. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yep. No, that's one thing people don't think about too. Like that's a great tabletop easel if you don't have a dedicated studio. Like that's easy Or to if you want to carry it and paint it work. Yeah. I used to do that with the other with the other or ones that I got stuck carrying only a certain panel size because they didn't have this mm -hmm. thing underneath. Yeah, on the bottom mount for your tripod. So the tripod comes in a nice carry bag. It's very, it breaks down extremely small. It really does. Yeah, we just did a video on this last week. That's all this is, but then it could go up to where it was mounted like this high. So Katie could paint like this. Katie's extremely tall, so it just was very hilarious. We're like, it's a Katie sized tripod. <laughs> or you can even put it on a table. Because we had it out where you could put it on a table. I mean, that's this, but you can make it like where the legs are even lower. You can make it so that you can use it sitting. You can make it however you want, and it works great with other cam with cameras and other things like that. It's fully adjustable. It's got your degrees of angle on the side so that you can make sure it's level. It's got a level here. It's got bubble levels here so you know your legs are straight so that you're not... It's a legit tripod. Because sometimes if you're... Honestly, I have been out painting before and I'm like, oh, this painting's turning out so great. Not realizing that, that the easel is just that little bit off and then you realize, okay, my painting is straight, but my canvas isn't straight. Have you ever done that, Katie? Yeah. <laughs> Where it's just like the horizon of your painting is just sloping just a little bit. This will make sure that doesn't happen. Um, and it's got the shoe where that just pops off and goes on the bottom of that box and then you can just pop your box on there. So it's just a really handy, great little tripod. Now, the box itself uh, is normally $129.99. It's on sale for $99.99, so you can get it for less than $100 right now. Yes. Well, $89.99 at this moment. Okay. It's a super sale. I'm looking at it. I'm gonna... uh, that's fine. Uh, when I looked at it earlier, it wasn't. So they must have put it on. It was just on a regular sale. So they, it must have gone on super sale. Maybe today or yesterday. I don't. Well, I, I looked at it earlier. Well, so 
That's awesome. So $10 less than when I looked at it earlier. You're welcome. <laughs> Not that I had anything to do with that, but I will take credit for that. Uh, the set itself, is the set on an even more of a it's sale now? $179. It was $199.99. They must have knew we were featuring it today. So, okay. So normally it's $209.99. So now $179.99 for both the tripod and the plain air box. So... We've done some giveaways on these already, so we couldn't do more. But hey, it's a fantastic deal. What? Quick question. Yes, question. So the box, does it hold wet panels? I forget. Uh, in the bottom, yeah. you, you would need in to the face box. them outside so they're back to back, and just the edges would be touching inside. So it but yes. hold up to two. Up to two wet panels, up to four of the traditional like canvas coated panels. Now, if you did like the butterfly panels or something like that, that are the super little thin ones, you could probably put what, 10 in there mm -hmm. at least. So those are the ones that are done on the really super thin surface and they have a beautiful linen coating, yes. Huh? I'm not latched. Oh, well, the, these are tight. So, all right, so that is the Soho. It comes, empty. Huh? it comes empty. Yes. Yeah, 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 that was just right. We hyperbole to show in. what all you could fit in just there. That's, That's not a prize level. anyway, right. so it's not, it's irrelevant. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show has stuff in it, but it's, again, to prove a point. Amanda made this lovely sign that we're holding with, Katie and I decided this is the cutest product ever because we said, well... It's it's a dusky though. I mean, what what could you do with that? I want it for my kitchen. Dinner. Okay. Said, yeah. Holding cookbooks. Uh, just to carry some supplies with you, just to go sketch somewhere at a picnic table. To keep at your beach house or your vacation home, you don't have to take the stuff with you. You just take this and leave it there. This it's got a great little handle. It's got four non-slip feet. Okay, that unlatches. You adjust it to however you like. This And it's got this, so you can put that out if you need it. The drawer has a hinge. It's so cute. So nothing comes out. I fit all giant 18, is it 18? Set watercolor, 16 set watercolor in here of the big tubes, not the little ones. And three big brushes. With no problem, there's room for other stuff in there. If you're doing, you know, if you wanted to do pencils, if you wanted to do water-soluble graphite, if you wanted to do gouache, I mean, all sorts of oil pastels, all sorts of cute little stuff would fit in there. Mm -hmm. And then you just take it with you wherever you go. That is a fantastic little box. So this is gonna come like this. Ta-da. It's so cute. But it's just, it's awesome, and it's the beautiful little stained color. These are normally $25, super sale, $17.99. For, yeah, for just a nice little way to travel with some art supplies. To keep them protected, but also give yourself a little easel instead of having to balance it on your lap or, you know, do whatever. So, that is adorable. Good charcoal or something. You can just leave it in the car and it's yeah. ready to go. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. Definitely. Did you say how much it was? $17.99. Are you gonna are you gonna blow my mind and I'm gonna find out that it's actually on sale for even more? Because <laughs> I went through these. Less than 25, but earlier. Let me move this stuff out of the way so it's not. I can't help it. <laughs> Katie's like the little kid with their finger in the dam. She's stuck there. That's $17.99. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Which is insane. It's still insane. All we right. Have a point, good point. He said that would fit in the suitcase. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect for like travel. For the backpack. Mm -hmm. All right, so this other stuff is just stuff that I just really like that we use all the time here. Everybody that gets a prize is going to get a Marie's 3D eraser. 4B. 3D. They've gone to 4B. This thing will erase anything, A, eh? right? It worked when I did the graphite dust drawing of the elephant. 
I used it to actually take it, the stuff back down to the paper to pull the graphite dust up. Most erasers just smear graphite dust. Unless they're those disgusting kneaded erasers and then you have to push and pull and push and pull. They're really awesome for, they actually pulled up the oil pencil when I did the Fox in the Stonehenge really? craft paper. Pulled that up, they worked great with colored pencil. These things work with any pencil medium and then some. I just love them. Makes no sense. It's just a 79 cent eraser, but it's like one of my favorite things. And you know me, how often do I actually erase stuff? I don't do it that often, but when I do, I want it to work. And so these are fantastic. So I got a box of 30 so I could give one with each of the prizes that go out. They're gonna get an eraser so they know how much I love it. It's the Amy approved eraser. Frida, you seem like you don't believe me somehow. Jerry's Jumbo Jet of Pencil Set of Four. We show them all the time. We've shown artwork of them all the time. They're actually oil impregnated pencils. We know Ophelia loves the black, mm -hmm. but love the other colors as well. They're just so beautiful. And in the sketchbooks where we talked about the gray and tan sketchbooks a few weeks ago, these are fantastic beautiful. for doing some little chiaroscuro drawings. These are great for doing really natural colored drawings, kind of the old masters used a lot of these colored chalks. So you get kind of that old traditional sketch look. There's three sets of these are going to be going out. These are normally $16.24. They're on super sale for four of them for $8.99. So you can get all four colors and the whites were out of stock until just like yesterday. So thankfully the whites came back nice. in. So those are fantastic. Those are, those are Amy approved as well. I love those. I know. We go through a ton of them We here. do, yeah. We, they need to make a pencil holder for those fatter pencils because that's, that's the only thing when it gets down to a stub, it's like, oh, eh, nub, I, can't, yeah. I can't hold my hand that tight. All right, another thing that we love here. We love these. Are the Jerry's Colossal Deluxe Sketch Pads. I, they're just tape bound. Uh, they're wiggly and wonky. They seem, the, the design is not like you new and hip or fancy, like everything is matchy matchy like Strathmore. This paper's awesome. And it just is. It's like, it, you, you use it, you're like, you kind of look back at the cover and you're like, huh? This shouldn't be that good. It's, but it is. it's just fantastic. It's got just the right tooth. It works with anything. It's also 60 pounds. So it's kind of above sketch paper, but like under, you know, a heavier drawing paper. It, it works like a really nice finished sheet of paper. I use them all the time for stuff. So much so I got obsessed with them and had those big 18 by 24 ones and I used to do my notes on them. And then I felt like I was killing trees and we had to stop. So those are fantastic sketchbooks. Now two of these are gonna go out probably with two sets of, of uh, we'll do a set and a set of those, are great those you, with like the drawer. Jerry's, yes things now the other thing we love here and we can't say enough good stuff about that just seems like it shouldn't be that cool of a thing Aww. what besides amanda <laughs> silly are the creative mark of zippered mesh bags there's the small which is five by nine there is the medium which is five by 15 and everybody's like why would you make that's the weirdest size oil brushes Oil brushes, acrylic brushes, any sort of long implements of artistic Close. destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. You could put a bunch of little tubes of watercolor paint, 20 ounce tubes of oil paint. It keeps, you can see through these, but they're durable and they don't soak through. Durable is an understatement. Yes, they're so far Amy destructive destructive proof which is no small feat in and of itself uh the next size is large it's 10 by 14 or me uh, medium oh, sorry medium large because the real large is 12 by 16. then you've got the extra large that is a 20 by 26 with handles seems like that wouldn't work you put a piece of foam core back there or a sketchbook with a durable back this thing is like very, very durable and the handles work fantastically. I've got one in my office that goes back and forth. So these are fantastic. Less than $9 for that. 
$4.29 for that. $3.89. Where did it, this one go? $2.79, $2.49. Anytime I do an employee order where I've got a little bit extra, I add one of these on because it gets used for something. So those are fantastic. And these will come with some of these other prizes, like the, where it's a few things and I can stuff them in there. So a few people will get bags with their stuff. So they'll get like a little pack of prizes. What? Christmas is my favorite. I love to like give people presents. So this is gonna be fun. Katie's like, you're gonna help me wrap these. Help yes, wrap I these. am. <laughs> Thank you. I will I'll help, help wrap these. Too. All right, so. Now, those weren't the only thing we're giving away. Now we're getting to the stuff that was actually uh, things around the studio that we want to bestow upon worthy viewers. I mean, I guess you don't have to be worthy. You just need to be able to make a comment. So if you're just joining us, there's lots of free stuff that's going to be coming out. All you need to do is make one comment. Don't badger. Don't pester. Amanda and Frida don't need to know what you really want because everybody wants different stuff the computer just randomly will pick you. So you will just get something if you're picked. But just make sure you make a comment so that you're at least in the running for it. So that being said, now we're getting to the other stuff. Let me have a sip. All right. Some lucky person is going to get seven different videos, some Bob Ross wildlife painting videos, some uh, beginner's guide to oil pastels and soft pastels, Painting a Day, The Art of Becoming an Artist by Dan Nelson, and two Strathmore books, Learning to Draw Nature and Learning to Draw Animals. These have lessons in the books themselves, and they've got the paper to practice on. So we talked about those when we did our wildlife sketching episode, right, Katie? So this is going to be a prize pack for someone. Dang. Katie's like, yay, <laughs> my finger's holding back. <laughs> If it's working, though, the it's, YouTube, if I take the YouTube folks of it. should thank Katie. She's the poor thing. She can't, can't even reach her drink over there. She can't stay caffeinated to hold it. We talk about the Chelsea Classical Studio Mediums all the time. Somebody is getting the oil painting cube sampler set where they're getting two ounce, it's two ounces, right? One ounce bottles of linseed oil, walnut oil, lean medium, fat medium, spike lavender essence, Damar varnish, lavender brush cleaner, and a lavender soap cake. All in the Chelsea Cube. I think that soap is full size, isn't it? It's the little half size. Is it half size? It's two ounces. I think the full size is four ounces. Full size. Not quite. Amy full. was washing brushes. And helping soap. We love, yeah. All right. Some poor person never, this was a prize once. Once, long, long, a long time ago. ago, if you're picked and you see your name, you need to send us your mailing address and your email address so that we can send stuff to you. Um, a nice mixed media sketchbook with one of these great uh, crate of color lead holders with six leads. And it's the lead holder that has the sharpener built in the back so you can just pop the top off, sharpen, put it back on. That's a prize. Then... Another similar thing, create a color graphite pocket set, nice little tin, drawing book. That'll be going out. Then a Van Gogh, nice cachet watercolor book, hard box, a set of 12 half pan watercolors. Then from one of our printmaking episodes, a jelly plate. Too much stuff. And a hundred Strathmore cards to print. You can make your own Christmas presents. What would be better than doing cool mono printing thing? It's a card, but then they can use it and actually mat it and frame it with an original artwork of yours. Then, this will be teamed up with a sketchbook of some sort liquid pencil i cannot remember the lady's name and can you remember frida that's in facebook live that's been posting those beautiful florals done in liquid pencil 
that's that's what she's using or these li this liquid pencil so this is now you've got to try it and you should aspire to it and then there are some liquid pencil jars with a gray nine sepia and a gray number three waterproof and water still where you can lift Rewritable. and work there we go that's the word she didn't say it in an australian accent katie Rewettable. Now, some lucky duck. <laughs> Frida's gonna cry now. Frida, Frida, you right? Frida, Frida comes and I commented a lot. <laughs> Frida puts this set daily. If she's over here, this is from our oil pastels episode. The beautiful little oil pastels set from Sennelier with a little pencil and a rag. All the doodads. I'm not a pastel person, ah, but I, I want that box. that box. Yeah, I know. They just want the box. They can that give me the pastels. Box. Oh yeah, but it smells like France. Even better. All right. Now in that same vein, someone's going to get a mixture of little tiny paint sticks. So these are oil paint sticks, not oil pastels. They're going to get to try oil sticks and oil pastels so here oil sticks the sennelier starter set of oil sticks to try but then because they might want to see the difference oh and the rnf pigment oil sticks then they're going to get oil pastels from sennelier and if that weren't enough some of the iridescent oil pastels from the episode so they will get to try oil sticks and paint sticks to see what is the real difference. Make sure if you get this, you read the box before you use it, just to know what's what's what. Do, do we need to get you your drink, Katie? She's like, hold the phone. All right. <laughs> then, A set of a hundred colors of handmade Mungio soft pastels in a wood box set. So it's not one, but two luxurious layers. Because you know what? I said before on the episode, you don't mix your pastels. You can't mix pastels to make other colors. You need to layer colors. So this should be enough to get anybody started in soft pastels. I also love that box. And then some, yes. But the colors in this thing are yeah. just gorgeous. These greens, I just want to... Don't do that. I, I'm not. Don't I've do never that done that. I fight that urge daily not to wear art supplies, Katie. You don't succeed. I, I can neither confirm nor deny that accusation. All right. So there will be this set. And that's not the main big present. Then there will be two of these that will go out that Golden has so graciously given us. It looks weird, but this is a whole medium testing set where you can test different mediums. It gives you directions. You get to see what the fluid mediums are like, the fluid um, acrylics. It's got other acrylic colors. It's got different mediums, paint. It's <laughs> it's got a brush and a palette. Nice. It's fair, like line sampler set. Directions. This thing is fun in a box. Look, there's there's even little canvases and panels and what fiber paste looks like. There's all sorts of cool stuff in here. So it's a really fun little try things for fun set from Golden. And there's two of those that will go out. Now, we talked about uh, decorative brushes when we talked about watercolor. Um, these were some of the really cool different types of brushes, the FX designs, uh, FX effects design brushes. We've got some of uh, the bestie brushes that we have in here that are kind of all sorts of unique shapes and sizes. Then we've got some of the um, Robert Simmons Expressions brushes. 
Obviously, this pack is for these, but I've stuck these other ones in. We'll package them a little bit better. But somebody's going to get a whole bunch of fun little decorative brushes to play with. Now, these were used in the show, but they're in amazing shape. So have fun and enjoy those. Now, this is from our Learning to Drop. Ah, it's going to get me animals episode we've got three of the different leonardo books here and then somebody is getting the anatomy plates for the art of freight is also like what the anatomy plates for the horse which shows all the musculature and the skeletal system and just everything and in motion the whole nine yards somebody is going to get that and i think that'll have to get sent with some paper or pencils or something cool Two. Um, I'm going to actually send this with the Chelsea thing because if you have mediums, you need something to mix them on. Mm -hmm. And that would be just a very luxurious. I love the new wave palettes. That is my absolute favorite thing. And this is a nice tabaret sized one. You can put it right on there and mix. Obviously, you're not picking it up and putting your thumb through it. But if you've got a nice table next to your painting area, that is a fantastic palette. Then we have one of these fun sets that we came up with last year at Christmas that I held on to as a prize. It's got a Strathmore watercolor sketchbook in here, a nice big one. It's got the bag. It's got watercolor brushes. It's got a bag for putting water in and then it has a set of 24 Charvin water soluble pastels which we've had some people in our Jerry's live group uh, do some just awesome paintings with that I can't I just can't believe how well they've turned out so we've got that as well to go in this little kit so that's everything you need to start working all right, then the piece de resistance. Amanda. Not everybody enjoys framing. Not everybody enjoys matting. A lot of people might not have tuned in to that episode. However, Logan graciously left us with not only a dual point driver for framing like paper matted works in frames. So it's got the driver, it's got points, the whole nine yards they left us the mat cutter that he used it's a logan compact mat cutter it's the model 301-1 that was the actual cutter that he used for the demonstration it's in beautiful shape put it back in the box so we can send it out to somebody i think it's a box in a box oh oh <laughs> yeah yeah i put it back in the shipping box so we So this is the grand prize. Somebody will get a mat cutter and the dual point drive. All you'll be responsible for is that backer piece that he talked about and buying mats to cut. You'll have everything else already in here ready to go and ready to put it in your frame. I guess you need a frame. Okay, so you need more than a few things, but this will get you started. So, um, and we did a whole video on how to use yeah, it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I don't remember the episode, but it was about, what, five or six episodes mm -hmm. back uh, with the head honcho from Logan. So, there's a few prizes, and now I know why Katie said I'm going to have to help box things up. Yes. <laughs> have patience with me, people. So, yes, but... It may take me but two days to get them out. <laughs> since, since tomorrow was my birthday, everybody needed presents. So, so I know this won't get everybody... Fingers crossed you guys win something. I'm pulling for you. Um, again, all you need to do is make one comment up until 5 p.m. tomorrow, September 5th, Eastern Standard Time, okay, on either the Facebook or the YouTube video. Um, and then we will put it in the system. It'll take you a while. So It's going to take me a couple of days. Okay, so what, what if we say we, we have the winners up by Friday at noon? Will that work? Or do you want Friday at 5? 
just because It'll we'll have to take be Monday, honestly. Okay, that's fine. No pressure. So Monday is what because day, ladies? The it'll be tenth. I'll try to get it up on Monday because we're getting our new system and I need to get that worked out. Yes. All right. Yes. So. All right. So Monday the tenth, we will post the winners by the end of the work day. So and that'll be with the picture of the prize that they won and their name, so that you know we, we'll she'll post it in Facebook on our official on the Jerry's. on the official Jerry's Facebook page. And then we will also post it uh, to the Jerry's Live group. If you're not a member of the Jerry's Live group, what are you waiting for? It is a private group. No trolls allowed. We haven't had to throw out any trolls because we haven't had them. Because everybody's been awesome and supportive and posting artwork and taking risks. You can tell some people are a little uncertain about it. People give fantastic feedback and help. If people are looking for episodes, like maybe they've just started watching and they're new and they've joined, we've had other members jump right in and tell them where they can find them. Just an absolutely amazing community. So that's our Facebook group, Jerry's Live. You have to answer the question. How many people don't have an answer to this point? Like a lot. Okay, so 241 of you guys are just not in yet because you didn't answer the basic question. You don't have to say anything fancy. And we'll put you in, yes. Amanda. Can you reiterate that you don't have to have a Facebook to win a prize? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to have Facebook to win a prize. As long as you've been able to put that comment on there, I guess the issue is going to be how will they know? We'll put the post up. It'll have the names on it. We'll and then the you post... need to contact us. Okay. Right. So I'll, I will put the post up on Monday. It'll be on our Facebook page. But it'll be on the Facebook it's page. It's a public post. Okay. So because anybody can see it. Okay. Because it's a public page for Jerry's Artorama. It will be able to be viewed without you having a Facebook page. You okay. Just have to check our page, and it'll yes. be on there, and you can um, message us through there, or I will put the instructions on how to claim your prize in the post. Okay. All right. Now, what? When do they need to have claimed that buyer? Or we'll just put that on the post. I'll put it in the post. Okay. It's all right. How long it takes me to get Yeah, that that's true. There, there may be a lot. So, all right, guys. So those are kind of. Not all the new products we've got, but the new products we were able to get our hands on for right now that are just very recent ones we've had come down the pike in review. A lot of cool stuff from all sorts of different places and episodes and stuff to go out to people. Um, and uh, welcome back to school. Good much. Yeah. So uh, next week, Mirabu, uh, the Celia Buchanan will be here debuting her aqua inks that that uh, marabou's come out with she will also have watercolorist gail mahoney that will be here to showcase how it works with traditional watercolors and some of the things that can do in really awesome fine art painting we'll have our own amanda doing lettering because amanda is clearly the bomb Talented. she whipped this out she like, in like 10 minutes. i know it's not a lot I, I, <laughs> It, it really just, was. just, and that's with just <laughs> markers and, and dinking around doing something fast. So Amanda is going to show how their products work with lettering, um, and they'll show some of the other new products that they've just come out with. So that will be next week with Marabou. Um, do we have any last questions before we go? Hopefully everybody's excited and pumped and jazzed and wants Everybody to win something. Likes everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As do I. But I, I've got a lot of stuff. I. And it would be gluttonous to keep it all. Just waiting to see if Katie was awake holding me holding the camera up. <laughs> so no questions then. All right. Just a resounding chorus of happy birthday. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I am blah, 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 old. <laughs> me too. So yes. So I've got juniors in college and uh, high school. So do the math. And no, I was not 12 when I had them, although I like how you're thinking. Wait, no. <laughs> well, yes, if yes, you're just no. thinking that I was very young when I had children. Okay, so on that note. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. We will see you next week, and have a good one.